TA. Get in here. I need you. Come quick. Yes, Master. Mm, how can I help you? Whoa, dude. You're not looking too good. Are you alright? I, I don't know, Master. I was up real late last night watching videos, and you know, maybe I'm just a little tired or... Oh my god, dude, you smell terrible. It's like a mixture of failure and confusion. Oh my god. DA, you haven't, you haven't relapsed, have you? Uh, no, it's not like that, Master. It's just I'm, I'm top. You can't lie to the Prince of Lies. I am Lucifer, the star of the morning. Grovel demon. Forgive me, Master. I should have never tried to lie to you, Dark One. Oh, okay, cool, bro. You know, the first step is admitting you have a problem. I'm disappointed in you, bro. That shit's gonna destroy your mind, DA. I can't believe you would bring that stuff into my house. I can accept a lot of things, but Riley Dennis? DA, Riley is a cancer on society. Look what she did to you. I know, Master. It's just the hypocrisy. I just can't get enough hypocrisy. I need it. These retards just haven't been enough for me. Riley Dennis is the hard shit, Master. She's the biggest hypocrite on the internet. She got me strong. She keeps calling me. It keeps calling me. I'm a weak little junkie, Master. No, no matter how weak you are right now, DA, you are stronger than any argument she's ever made. <laughs> I'm sad. No, you didn't, Master. everyone, so today I want to talk about what it means to be offended. Because depending where you are on the political spectrum, when you hear this word, there's a good chance you think of people on the left being offended. Uh, maybe that's because it's true. I mean, you're the most offended libtard I've ever seen. And this is coming from a centrist. Some people use it to mean they don't like something, others use it to mean they find something harmful or dangerous, and others use it just to mean that they're upset by something. It has different definitions that mostly seem to change depending on your politics. Uh, oh my god, are you taking the fucking piss? Seriously, are you fucking retarded? Offended has one definition, and that is resentful or annoyed, typically as a result of a perceived insult. And the key word here is perceived, and that is where personal responsibility comes in. You see, someone can insult you, but it's up to you whether or not you are offended. That is why most people will say, offense is taken, not given. It's about strong character, but you wouldn't know anything about that. So please continue with your train wreck of an English lesson. Leftists who say, that offends me, often mean that is dangerous and will cause a lot of harm. But right-wing folks, and some centrists, likely hear that simply as, I don't like that. And those are very different meanings that can lead to two people having a conversation that goes nowhere because they aren't properly communicating. Yes, one person would have the correct definition and the other would, well, <laughs> be you. But I don't see why you're trying to make this a political issue. It has absolutely nothing to do with politics, and more with personal character. Again, something you know nothing about. Sometimes it's good and compassionate to be offended, because you don't want harm to come to you or others. Other times it's just hatred or misinformation that causes people to be offended over nothing. Uh, no. It is never constructive to be offended and angry. Offense is synonymous with emotional words like anger, upset, there is nothing positive or constructive about getting upset or angry. I can't believe that you made a video called What Does Offended Really Mean? And you haven't even used the proper definition of the word. And spoilers, she never does. I think I know why, but we'll get to that in a minute. Any 
you think. Leftists are offended by actions that are being taken to restrict the rights of queer people. People on the right are offended by the existence of queer people. They just don't call it being offended. Oh my god, are you fucking autistic? She's autistic, right? Why does your political alignment determine what you think about gay people? The fuck is this bitch talking about? What the fuck do gay people have to do with the definition of words? Try to stay on topic here. Even if you don't think you never get offended, you're probably offended by people who are easily offended. Every time I've called right-wing people offended for something that they were clearly offended over, I get the same like three cookie cutter replies right back. No, I'm not offended. I just don't like that. I just have a problem with it. I just think it's dumb. Something like that. But those are all just different ways of saying that you're offended by something. Yes, those words are synonymous with offended. But why does it only apply to the right? And what the fuck do gay people have to do with this? Are you a fucking po? On the other hand, sometimes people get offended by stuff because they're hateful or misinformed. If I say I'm a lesbian and that offends you, tough shit. Because that's me. You may be offended by my identity, but I'm allowed to be who I am. The fact that you're offended doesn't mean that anything about me has to change. It just means you need to work on not being offended by my identity. And likewise, if I tell you to vaccinate your kids and get your flu shot, and by the way, please vaccinate your kids and get your flu shot, that's going to offend anti-vaxxers. The people who believe that vaccines are harmful even though literally all all of the evidence is stacked against them. Wait, 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 wait. So, if you offend somebody, tough shit, they have to deal with it. But if you're offended by somebody, then it's their problem. You can't have it both ways, Riley. Either it's our responsibility to control our emotions, or it's other people's responsibility not to piss us off. Which one makes more sense? Seeing as how I can't control the dumb fucking shit you say, maybe I should work on myself. But that takes personal responsibility and a strong moral character. Like I said, these are things you obviously know nothing about. They're offended not because something in the world is truly doing harm, but because they're misinformed. And that's what I mean by being offended doesn't automatically make you wrong or right. No, apparently it just makes you a dumb fucking cunt. And when I say you, I mean you, Riley J. Dennis, are a dumb fucking cunt. Why do you even think anyone gives a fuck about your sexual fucking preference? No one cares who you're fucking as long as it's not them. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's switch to another one of Riley's dumb fucking videos so we can watch her butcher the English language and tell us all that our sexual preferences are built around racism or something. Would you date someone who's trans? Would you date someone who's black? Would you date someone who's fat? Would you date someone who's disabled? Sure, I would go on a date with any woman, as long as it's not you. Oh, honestly, I don't know what your answer is to those questions, but I've met a surprising number of people who would say no to all or at least some of them. Their argument is that it's just a preference and that you can't control who you're attracted to. Wow, Riley, that's the most intelligent thing I've ever heard you say. I don't know why people have such a problem with this video. Hmm, let's just keep watching. Would you date a trans person, honestly? Think about it for a second. Okay, got your answer? Well, I don't know. I've never really thought about it before. I like to think of myself as open-minded, but that might be a bit of a stretch for me. I don't know, maybe. Well, if you said no, I'm sorry, but that's pretty discriminatory. Holy fucking shit. You can't be fucking serious. Is this bitch fucking serious? The fuck, man? I think it's time to get the dictionary back out. Preference. A greater liking for one alternative over another. Huh. It's funny how that doesn't say anything about discrimination. Discriminatory. Making or showing an unfair or prejudicial distinction between different categories of people or things, especially on the grounds of race, age, or sex. Can you even fucking read, you dumb fucking cunt? Those are two entirely different fucking words. Preferences have to do with choosing over alternatives Whereas discriminatory is a prejudicial decision based on superficial qualities. I thought the fucking gay motto was, I was born this way. So by your logic, as a trans fucking lesbian, you discriminate against men. You're just a fucking contradiction with tits.
Next video. This video is for the people who say, yes, trans women are women, but they are still biologically male. Okay, so this video is for everyone that can read. So, what the fuck are you doing in it then? Fuck. This can't be good. Alright, so let's say that you're trying to be a good ally to trans people and you heard that sex and gender are two different things. Sex is biological and gender is a social construct. That's not entirely true. Sex and gender are two different things, but they're both partly social constructs, just in different ways. Maybe in gay tardia, but in the real fucking world, sex and gender are fucking different. I don't even know why I put this dictionary away. Okay. Miriam Webster defines sex as... Either of the two major forms of individuals that occur in many species and that are distinguished respectively as female or male, especially on the basis of their reproductive organs and structures. And gender is defined as the behavioral, cultural, or psychological traits typically associated with one sex. So, while gender can be considered a social construct, Sex is purely a biological classification. You know, Riley, you're guilty of some major fucking word crimes. I would argue that sex needs to go through the same change that gender has already gone through. It's not a static fact, it's a social construct. And I would argue that you need to be institutionalized. This is not a fucking bit. I'm serious. Bitch, you're fucking crazy. Just because you and your ilk are living in a fantasy world doesn't mean the rest of us have to. You know, I have a soft spot in my heart for freaks. But honey, you're pushing my fucking limits. But I'm gonna let you go just a little bit longer. You better have something. Okay, well, you can't change your chromosomes, and yeah, that's correct. But if you want to argue that sex is entirely determined by chromosomes, then you're arguing against the definition of what we call biological sex. Biological sex. Hmm. Well, a quick Google search returns a confusing mismatch of opinion pieces from places like Wikipedia and Medium.com. These are not peer-reviewed and would be unacceptable as citations in a research paper. But, here's the thing. All of these sources refute what you just said. Even though I cannot rely on them for their accuracy or their credibility, the overwhelming consensus is that biological sex is a result of your genetic composition and sexual reproductive organs. What you are peddling, my dear fucktard, is an insult to pseudoscience. The only word that properly describes your argument is woo. Now hit me with some of that sweet, sweet tranny hypocrisy. But if a woman has her ovaries removed due to cancer, is she no longer female? If a man has his testes removed due to cancer, is he no longer male? I don't think so. Ugh. Riley, what the fuck? Do you even watch these videos before you upload them? When you man say man has his testes removed due to cancer, is he no longer male? I don't think you're so. You're basically saying that no matter what you do, you will always be a man. Even if you chop your own fucking dick off, you will still always be a biological male. That is what you just said. You just contradicted everything that you said in this entire fucking video. I would call you a fucking joke, but you're not funny. You're sad. You go on the internet touting your sexual identity as if it were something fucking special when it is not. There is nothing special about you except for your fucking autism. Calling you an incredulous fucking moron would be an insult to actual fucking morons. You see, incredulity requires ignorance of the subject. But you know what you are saying is fucking wrong, yet you say it anyway! Your entire identity is based on a lie, and you reinforce it with an echo chamber and cognitive dissonance, which you use to rape language. You are the reason 
why people hate fucking trans people. And it's no wonder that they hate you right the fuck back. I don't care how big and dumb your glasses are, you will never be a fucking intellectual because you don't understand words. In fact, you go and try to change the definition of words because you know that those very words that you are using prove you wrong. This is why you made an entire video called What Does It Really Mean To Be Offended? And you never give the definition of the word offended. Because if you did, your whole entire glass house would shatter. They say people in glass houses should never throw stones. Well, people with autism should never try to disprove fucking science. You are destroying our entire society. Not because you're trans, but because you're an illiterate, pseudo-intellectual, libtarded cunt who is so retarded that she believes that the definitions of words depend on your political alignment. Because my feelings. Now make me laugh. Maybe instead of leaving an angry comment, you could go do some research into what it means to be <laughs> That's the stuff. Why the fuck would I watch your videos and call them research? When the entirety of your channel can be called an argument from emotion. But I get it. You're an illiterate fucking moron who doesn't even know what research means. Riley. Your entire identity is based around your misunderstanding of the English language. You tell me to do my research when all I need to defeat you is the goddamn dictionary. What do your feels tell you about your identity now? Tell her, Al. Maybe you feel that